Well, well, big announcement from Niantic today. A huge schedule of in-game events spanning the entire summer has just been released. The announcement, which was just posted, reads, as trainers from all over the world participate in live events during Pokemon Go Summer Tour 2018, meaning Safari Zone, Pokemon Go Fest, Safari Zone again in Japan, we're happy to bring amazing in-game opportunities for trainers everywhere. So we kind of talked about this before, there's not just the big events, the live events, there's also in-game events going on at the same time. So everyone can participate in special Pokemon spawns and special rewards. Take a look at some of the exciting things coming up on our calendar. Professor Willow's Global Challenge. On the weekends of our special live events, trainers from all over the world will be tasked to complete Professor Willow's Global Challenge. The challenge is simple, complete field research tasks. So this is kind of like the global catch challenge that we had last year, where the goal was catch a certain number of Pokemon. This year we have do a certain number of research tasks, and we have to do this as a global community. For the purpose of this challenge, the global community will be split into four parts. The Americas, that's one part, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, that's part two, and the Asia Pacific region, part three, and the main research site itself, part four, meaning the live event, the people that are actually participating in each of these events throughout the summer. Each area will have to complete a set number of field research tasks, and if the goals are met, Trainers everywhere will be able to enjoy some amazing bonuses. There will be three opportunities to complete these field research goals throughout the summer, so get ready to work together. At the end of each event, if all goals are met, an even bigger bonus will be unlocked, so stay tuned for more information on this exciting reward. So let's just, let's take a look at Professor Willow's research challenge. The first one takes place the weekend of Safari Zone in Dortmund, Germany, June 30th and July 1st. The tasks are, for the people participating in the Safari Zone, complete 100,000 research tasks at the Safari Zone event. Worldwide, 5 million research tasks for each of the regions. And if we're able to meet those numbers, we're going to unlock different bonuses. So for the Safari Zone research tasks, we'll unlock Catch XP, a bonus to Catch XP, probably double Catch XP, maybe more. If Europe, Middle East, and Africa complete their 5 million tasks, we'll unlock a Raid XP bonus. If the Americas complete their tasks, a Hatch XP bonus. And if the Asia Pacific region completes their tasks, 1 hour Lucky Eggs. And if all four areas complete their tasks, a bonus reward will be unlocked on July 7th. And it also says here that the rewards will be unlocked July 2nd through 9th. So the challenge window is the weekend, June 30th, July 1st, and then the rewards are unlocked for the entire following week, with the bonus unlocked July 7th. Also possible that once we hit the threshold, things will just be unlocked, so maybe we can unlock them earlier than July 2nd but I guess we'll find out. There's also a little bit more information revealed about the Safari Zone event in Dortmund, Germany. During the weekend of the event, Roselia will be appearing in increased numbers and shiny Roselia, which is, I think, a beautiful shiny, will be appearing for the first time in Pokemon Go. I guess there's a, a big rose garden at Westfallen Park in Dortmund, so it's kind of thematic with the event. Rose garden, Roselia, Shiny Roselia. The second challenge during the weekend of Pokemon Go Fest, July 14th and 15th. Again, uh, at Go Fest, 100,000 research tasks will unlock bonus candy for catching Pokemon. If Europe, Middle East, and Africa complete their tasks, bonus candy for hatching Pokemon. If the Americas complete their tasks, reduced egg distance. I'm guessing that's what that means. And if the Asia Pacific region completes their tasks, bonus rare candies as raid rewards. Again, Rewards are unlocked the following week, with the bonus reward unlocked the weekend after, July 21st. And just like the Safari Zone in Dortmund, we have some new information on Pokemon Go Fest. The announcement says that trainers without a ticket to the event won't be able to see any Pokemon or Pokestops in Lincoln Park, but Trapinch, Phoebus, and other Pokemon featured in the habitats of Pokemon Go Fest will appear more frequently all over the world that weekend. So if you're at Pokemon Go Fest, if you have a ticket, you'll see these Pokemon in their habitats in the park in kind of the area that Niantic has designed for the event, but if you don't have a ticket, or if you're not in Chicago, you'll still see those Pokemon out in increased numbers, so it's kind of like everyone's participating in a way, even if you're not there. So even if you're not at Pokemon Go Fest, you're going to see all the same Pokemon in increased spawns that people would see at Pokemon Go Fest. On top of that, Plusle and Minun will also be spawning in increased numbers, you'll get bonus Stardust for catching them, and their shiny versions will be released. And as if that wasn't enough, Alolan, Diglett, and Geodude will begin appearing for the first time worldwide. Two new Alolan forms coming the weekend of Pokemon Go. 
Doesn't say how long they'll be around, but if they're anything like Exeggutor, they'll probably be everywhere. And then finally, we have one more research challenge. This one doesn't have dates yet. I guess they're not confirmed. Safari Zone in Yokosuka, Yokosuka, in Japan, late summer. We know this is sometime in August. Again, no dates on this yet, so we don't know when the challenge window is or when the rewards will be unlocked. But if trainers at the Safari Zone complete their tasks, bonus Stardust for catches, Europe, Middle East, and Africa will unlock star pieces that last for an hour. If trainers in the Americas complete their tasks, bonus Stardust for hatching Pokemon, and if the Asia Pacific region completes their 5 million research tasks, bonus Stardust for completing raids. And again, there will be a bonus reward unlocked, probably the last weekend of that window, whenever that turns out to be. So, wow. That's a, a big announcement. That's a lot to digest. There are some big things going on. Obviously, live events throughout the summer, but for people who can't attend the live events, there will still be a lot going on, a lot to do during those live events and for weeks following afterwards. Personally, I'm, I'm excited for Shiny Roselia because even though Roselia is kind of annoying and hard to catch, it is gonna evolve in Gen 4 and those black and purple roses just, they look really nice. Big announcements, big things happening this summer for Pokemon Go, and I should have a video coming very shortly after this one that I was actually working on editing when this announcement was made, but uh, my E3 adventure, catching some unknown, catching up with old friends, it's a lot of fun. Stay tuned for that one, coming soon. Like, in a few hours, soon.